Hello. Um, today we're going to do something a little messier, I guess, than normal. Um, as you can tell by the paper towel and, and these bowls, which I have not yet filled with water. Um, I have picked up some of these color reveal blind boxes of monster trucks, monster truck color reveals. I know they do the cars in them as well. Um, I'm not sure what's in these other two. I opened one to try and get a feel of uh, a feel of them, and uh, it was um, it was not the experience that I expected. It was it was much messier. <laughs> so they're color reveal. They're not just color changing. They um, they come, and and you'll you'll see it when I when I get to the revealing part of it but they come where is it in a solid color like sort of coated in a solid color and uh and you wash that off and it, then you can see what's underneath and then that so um i washed it off this one for instance and uh underneath is the hot wheels cleanup um with some cool some cool paint splashes and things. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, this is all plastic. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, and it's not the most interesting casting. The decorations are kind of cool though. Um, I'm hoping to get some more interesting, interesting ones. Um, but when I, uh, when I finish uh, making the other ones over here, uh, washing the, uh, the, the layer off them. Um, I'll show you the alternate color of this one as well because they, uh, um, it's very interesting. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, color changing Hot Wheels and stuff would, you would change them and then eventually they'd kind of drift back to the color. You know, they, it wasn't like a permanent thing. But with these, you change the color. I guess that's why they're called color shifters uh, instead of color changers, maybe. They've, they've increased, they've, well, they've developed new technology where I guess you change the color and it just stays that color and then you change it back and it just stays that color. Like, you know, no like spots of, uh, of drifting or whatnot. Um, so I also got out a couple, well, I got this one out because it's monster truck day. <laughs> But I also got this one out to show, like, this is one of the Hot Wheels, you know, monster trucks. It's the Peren, ah, um, and you can see that the the wheels are much nicer. It's got, it's got metal, uh, it's multi-part, you know, um, this one's got a glow-in-the-dark, uh, undercarriage part, or, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, chassis, I guess. Um, so, it's, uh, these are not... These are the same size. These are definitely the same size as the regular Hot Wheels monster trucks, but they are not, well, they're a different kind of thing, you know? These ones have to be plastic because they're gonna spend a lot of time in water. Um, although I really, I don't think that a Hot Wheels is gonna, well, I don't know. I've never, never put a Hot Wheels in, water for a long time over and over again so i'm just talking out my butt um like the wheels are molded nice they're just you know all one color which i don't think they needed to be but and the wheels don't change color and the chassis doesn't change color they uh they stay the same it's just the this and i think probably it's because they do they use these for the the cars too. Although now that I look at the wheel wells, um, yeah, that's, they don't, they don't, I don't think that they use those for the normal color shift hot wheels. Um, there are blind boxes like this of the cars as well that come with two cars in them. Um, and actually I thought these came with two monster trucks in them because they've got this number two on it, but I think it might be the second series. One truck, one water cannon, one clip-on. But we'll take a look at that um, when we do the uh, 
the un... Uh... Well, let's take a look at that now. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. And I'm gonna put this away because I think we're gonna need some room here. Um, let's see which... Let's see which cars we got. Oh, and actually, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how, uh, clean this is gonna be, like whether the powder's gonna come off them or whatever, so I'm gonna do it on this, just to minimize cleanup afterwards. It does tell you on the side what the possible cars are, but let's just, this is not how you do this. I should be just using a knife. <clears throat> I'm an award-winning author, by the way, just in case you were watching this and thought that maybe I was uh, simple. Let's see what we have in this one. The top is a tire, which is cool. Open it up. So they come with this water gun thing that you attach to uh, the top with a clip, and then you can have the monster trucks squirt each other with warm or cold water to to uh, you know make your opponent change color. And uh, let's see, let's see who we got here. It doesn't feel like the same one. Oh, it's the shark one. Um, the uh, shark reek, I think. Yeah, shark reek, which is which is a, a pun that I don't think really works. But so let's take a look at them though. Yeah, it's not powdery, but it is sticky. Um, okay, let's let's. So, I mean, he actually looks pretty cool, all in this like, like gloss purple with the gloss purple wheels and the gloss purple chassis. Like, that's actually kind of intense. I like it. Um, Okay, so that's number one. Um, oh, also in the case, let's let's do let's do it properly here. Also in the case is this clip, which we'll use this as an example. So the point, I guess, is that you clip onto the top of the car, and then this fits in here, and you drive your car around that you can hardly see, and you squirt water. Uh, I mean, it's almost as big as the car, so. And it also comes with, no, I thought it was sideways. It also comes with instructions, which are basically printed on the, the box. I don't know, I guess it's some new images to show you how to squirt your friends and what order to put them in in order to get them back in the box. That's actually useful. <laughs> um, oh, they suggest using the uh, the cylinder it comes in in order to do the color reveal part, but I'm going to do it in the sink. I'm going to do it in the sink. All right. Okay, Shark Creek. That's a good one. Uh, I have actually had a version of Shark Creek uh, with hot pink wheels um, that I opened in, a, in an, an early video um, with this like crazy Jackson Pollocky paint job. Um, 
And yeah, I'm interested to see what the paint job on this one will be. Because this one's like, it's relatively restrained for, uh, yeah, it's relatively restrained paint job. So this is definitely not restrained, but it is fun. I'm gonna put this out of the way because again, room, these are big cars. <laughs> And let's, uh, let's move on to car number two. All right, I am going to get a knife, though, because that was embarrassing. Okay. Sorry for that plastic sound. Big tire. Oh, this one's got a blue gun. Although I guess you can choose yourself at the end where uh, where the guns go because they appear to be all identical. Okay, so who do we have here? Oh, we've got Podium Crasher. So I'm not going to pull out the other stuff from, from this one. I'm just going to take out the car. Take out the car. Um, I'm not familiar with Podium Crasher, so... I, uh... Looks like it could be fun, though. I really like this this, like, solid but glossy effect. Um, the purple was cool, the orange is even more cool. Uh, yeah. I wonder if they've ever done like a, uh, a series that was like that, I guess. I guess there's not a lot of market for purposefully. I gotta move my hand out of here because I'm gonna keep hitting the thing. That was weird. Okay, no more knife required. Not a lot of market for purposefully removing most of the aesthetic qualities of a vehicle. This is the same color blue or Nope, slightly lighter. Nope, exactly the same. No, it is slightly lighter. Okay. I thought it was the shadow. Oh, sweet. No doubles at all. That's, that was my worry with the, uh, you know, with the blind box aspect of this. This is the steer clear. So I think it's, I think it's, you know, like a, like a cow. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad we got two animal ones. Oh, that's awesome. I think this is the front. <laughs> I couldn't tell, because that could be the front, right? This could be the nose. Um, I guess it'll be more apparent once uh, this horns look cool. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this either. I am familiar with Shark Creek, and I was familiar with the cleanup. Um, okay, well, let's... Let's go do the first of what the box promises will be three reveals. 
Okay, so first of all, you're gonna see some shadows and things because, um, you know, we're in my bathroom and and I have no control over where the light is in here. I don't know whether I'm supposed to use hot or cold water, so I'm gonna try it with warm water. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try this one first. And um, let's see. You can see the, the color coming off. <laughs> Not very fast. Oh, my fingers are getting all sticky. Maybe I'll set it down. Oh no, it's not under the water then. Okay, let's, let's speed this up a little. <laughs> or maybe it needs to be warm. So, as you can see, this is splashing all over the place. This is kind of a messy process. I'm just very bad at it. Um, oh, it's got quite a cool deco underneath it, though. Like, you know, the like, race truck. I want to get all the orange. Oh no, oh no. Let's use cold because it was about to show the other transformation. And now that I think about it, this is the this is the second reveal of the Promise Three reveals because the first reveal was which car you got. This is this has made my fingers unpleasantly sticky. I do not care for this sensation at all. Um, I, got it all? I feel like I have. No, I haven't. I'll get it with a paper towel. I'll get it with a paper towel. Okay, so, car number one. Oh. Car number one. We'll look at it more closely uh, in the room. Um, that's the uh, podium something. The, the, uh, right. Up next, Shark Reach. Look at that purple going down the sink. <laughs> Such a great color, purple. It should have spin the wheels and clean the purple off the ceiling. Oh, water's so cold. Maybe, maybe a little, uh, I'll wash the purple off my hands before I touch the tap. Maybe a little bit of warmth won't hurt. Just make it less cold. There we go. So, this is, this is the process. Um, oh, it's good. Nice. It's good. So, well, anyway, we'll look at it in the room. I don't want to give it away. But you can also see how this would be, I mean, you know, I'm trying to be efficient and I'm, you know, I'm, I guess the polite word would be particular. Um, so, but for a kid, you can see how this would be fun. This would be a fun process, uh, you know, revealing, revealing what their, uh, their monster truck looks like. All right, so, again, we'll, we'll look at it more in the, uh, obviously when we get to the, the next part of the video. And then we've got the, the steer. Let's do it. That is a bright, that is a bright sky blue. <laughs> and the wheels underneath the blue are blue as well. <laughs> That's funny. The steer is not though. Ah, nice red horns. Alright, you can definitely tell if we get the blue off the screen, you know. 
that's a that's a cool that's a cool car. I've never seen I've never seen it before. I wonder if there's there must be a mainline version. Maybe maybe not. Maybe it's a, a monster truck only. I like some of the animal fantasy cars. I think that they're a lot of fun and get overlooked maybe. Everybody wants the the new Porsche or the treasure hunt or whatever. But uh, you know, I think I think there's there's really a place for these Hot Wheels monster trucks and things. They're just like they're really fun. Okay, so let's clean up after ourselves so that we're not bad roommates. other reasons but at least now it's not for leaving purple everywhere okay so we're back and let's take a look first at the at the cars uh, as they came uh, out of the the first coating so we've got shark reek and it's got these great little fish skeletons all over it it's got great teeth um, I like the blue color. It's got the Hot Wheels. The windows are painted solid. Um, it says monster trucks on the tail. This one's got fish fishbone window on this side, but on the other side, it's got a, I mean, there's a fishbone in the window, but it's colored. Um, the, the window is colored, I mean. It's interesting. Are they both the same? Yeah, otherwise they're relatively the same. There's 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 living fish, you can see, uh, and some coral, and, uh, and then some, some not living fish. Okay, so that's Shark Reek, black tires, um, which have great, great molding. Like, you know, they didn't skimp on that. And, and the same with the chassis, it's just, single color which I think is I guess necessary for for these ones to keep them at the pi price point they're at and you know what I can't remember how much they cost um, but and then this one is called you know what I should have kept the thing out so I could tell you what each one is called this one is called podium crasher So, Podium Crasher's got this racing livery um, with like an interesting spider web on the top of it. That's cool. Blue windows. Um, yeah, this, the spider webbing is cool. It's like black on black spider web. Um, but yeah, Podium Crasher. So I guess it's uh, like a racing truck. Uh, the black on black um, spider webbing reminds me of the costume, the new Spider-Man's costume, Miles Morales. And then there's the steer clear, which has these great blue tires, blue and orange. That looks great. Um, and he's got like, I guess it's like a field moss. Is it moss? Um, great blue windows that match the tires. Uh, orange horns and then uh, some engine an engine here um, it's the only car that has any kind of engine detail which is interesting uh, and you get some engine pipes on the side too so those are our cars I didn't dry them so hang on while I dry my fingers so I can touch the camera <laughs> um, and then I've got a uh, hot water and cold water because I can't I'm not sure which one is going to change change it so let's start with the steer clear so again it's green blue windows it's got moss on it black engine and let's see let's see where it goes oh that was quick okay so it's a little wet so I'll keep it not too close. Um, 
it turns yellow. The window remains blue. The horns remain red. And it still has the, uh, the grass. You can see some other details, some um, speed line kind of things that I, I didn't notice before. Um, now it looks more like a, uh, it looks more like a jungle cat kind of thing, except for the horns, um, like a leopard. It looks like it has leopard spots. Um, I definitely think I prefer, I definitely think I prefer the other version. So let's, let's change it back. Let's see how long that takes. This little bit wants to stay yellow for some reason. Maybe it was yellow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I prefer this one. The the green, it looks like grass and moss and stuff when it's on a, a slightly uh, different green. I really, I really like that effect. It makes me think of a cow in a field, not a leopard. That's cool. All right, let's put him back and let's see let's see what happens to the uh, the podium crasher oh wow <laughs> um, I said the other one looked had like a miles Morales look and this one's got definitely got a spider-man look it's got the blue and the spider web and the red. That's very funny. I mean, obviously not intentional because they could just get the Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Man um, license. Or maybe it's intentional, but like as a like little nod rather than a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows why Hot Wheels does anything? But you'll notice that uh, the wheels and the chassis are not changing on these. Um, just the Just the car itself. Um, but still, it's very cool. Uh, and it's cool to be like, you know how in um, the main line you get like alternate colors. This is sort of like that, except it's on one car and you, you get to choose which, which color you want. It takes a little, takes a little longer going back. This water isn't very cold. My, my tap gets very hot, but it doesn't get doesn't get like ice cold so that's a little unfortunate unless I'm unless I'm being silly here no it still looks red well we're gonna get to see both colors anyway I apologize for not having cold enough water so Shark Creek. No, that's, yeah, Shark Creek. We haven't done this one yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, a bunch of water got stuck inside him. Oh, wow. That's very cool. You could definitely see the like coral landscape more and the dead fish look more like Kind of ghosts that you can barely see. Oh, let's see what this did. That change color? No, it stayed the same. That their color on one side and a, no, and a different color on the other. Blue and orange. Let's see if let's see if it's cold enough to turn this one back. This one turns back. Yeah, that turned back nicely. I wonder what was, I wonder what the problem is with this one. Maybe it wasn't as dark as I thought it was originally. And uh, we're gonna do the other color of the, the cleanup as well. I guess, 
I guess it was like a dark red before, or a deep red, and then with the bright red racing stripes on it, and just wet it looks like it's not. Yeah. I guess we'll see over time. Okay, and one final one. So this is the cleanup. I actually don't know if this is the hot or the cold version, so I'm gonna try it in the hot first. Um, it's got like a, it's spilling a, a flask of some kind there. It's got these cool skulls on it, um, like poison skulls. So let's see, oh yeah. Yeah, the alternate color to this one's fun. It's got like, it's still got the flask, uh, it's still got the skull, but on the like lighter, the lighter blue, it really feels, I don't know, it feels like uh, more fun, I think. Hot wheels clean up and then it's just got the, the skull after it. And then, uh, will this one turn back? Oh, I'm splashing all over the place. Yeah, this one turns back. It's funny, I thought that the the warning tape looking stuff wasn't on this version, but it's just darker. And against the darker uh, the darker color, it uh, it blends in more. So it didn't, didn't pop like it did against the light color. Okay, um, those are very cool. Uh, yeah, they seem like they'd, they'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, yeah, personally, I like, um, I think they do sacrifice a little bit of detail for the color changing, but I mean, what, what's more, it depends on what you think is more fun, having color changing, water gun shooting, hot, uh, monster trucks, or, uh, you know, having a little more detail on your monster truck. Um, okay. I have one more monster truck to open in the background. You can see it there, but I'm just going to clean up a little. So one second. So I got things cleaned up a bit here. Um, and this one, the podium smasher stomper, I can't remember. Um, the problem was that it wasn't cold enough. I took it to the freezer and I put like, you know, a bag of peas against it. And it, it went, it went back to this really dark brown black. So. Uh, the water I was using wasn't cold enough. That was that was the problem. It wasn't a flaw in the car. Although, um, interesting that it took more cold for this one than the other ones, because the water was fine for them. Um, anyway, one last car, and uh, I was really surprised to find this. It's a Johnny Lightning monster truck. Um, I guess it's a new... A new thing that they're doing. There's three of them. I just picked up one, um, but we'll see how it is. Maybe I'll get all three. Um, this is the Frostbite, and uh, it promises a detachable metal body, ultra flex suspension, and 164th scale. So I don't, I don't know about the 164th scale because it's a make-believe car. Um, but let's take a look. Maybe it's not a make-believe car actually. Uh, I know that monster trucks exist. So, uh, it's much more substantial feeling than uh, than the color change Hot Wheels. Um, and th this part feels the least substantial. Uh, oh shit, pardon me. Um, oh, oh heck, look at this. There's a little guy in there. Is that why the body detaches? How does the body detach, first of all? Do you, oh you do. There's a little button to detach it. And actually this is pretty heavy, but uh, oh that's, that's adorable. That's funny that it's detachable and there's a little guy. Um, I gotta be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what they mean by Ho, 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 ho. 
okay. I don't even know what's going on here. It's like, it's not independent suspension, but the suspension on this is... Imagine the combination of this and the way that Hot Wheels does it. Like it does this, but then it also did that. Like the way Hot Wheels does it is great. You know, it's got the angled thing. It really provides a sense of, uh, you're able to climb over rocks and things. Whereas this is very linear up and down, but it is also very cool and is a very different experience from the Hot Wheel one. <laughs> Um, oh, and it rolls, it rolls so good on these, these are rubber wheels I'm just realizing too. Um, like with really deep treads. Uh, and how do the, uh, the hubcaps look? Or the wheel, wheel wells and whatever, whatever they are, they look cool. Um, okay, what's the art on the side? This is like an ice cream truck, right? And Bigfoot's trying to sell you ice cream? I'd buy from that guy. We never stop. I scream, you scream. Yeti crossing. It's a cute idea. I like the driver. I like the, I like the fact that this comes off. I mean, this is probably like the least interesting part of it to me that this comes off. Although it does let you see the driver better. And I guess is that, I guess that's more, more detail, right? There's a little place to stand and then so you can put your face right in the engine I guess Oop. wow that is heavy that is substantial uh, I gotta tell you I will be picking up the other the other two of these this is cool this is a cool monster truck <laughs> I even like the little guy. I know that they don't put little guys in die cast cars for, you know, a reason. Um, mostly because they just come off looking silly and they detract from the beauty of the vehicle or whatever. But for this, it's perfect. It's fun. Oh, it, rolls, it rolls so well. And you could probably put, you know, rubble in the way, and it would still roll well because of the suspension. That's not true because the suspension does have a does have a um, kind of a high tensile strength. I mean, you know, a kick could still do it, obviously, but like, um, you know, it's not going to do it if it just hits something. Yeah, see that 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 bounced up. It didn't. It didn't make the suspension go up. Um, wow. Well, I'm glad it took, took a chance on this one. Um, I mean, took a chance. If I see a new kind of monster truck, I'm, I'm always going to try it. They're, uh, they're, they're great. They're, they're so much fun. About the only ones that, like, are just kind of half fun are most of the green light ones. The Kings of Crunch. The Kings of Crunch, um, because there's some really good ones, um, but there are a lot of them are just really samey. They're just, it's like the same truck over and over and over again, or the same kind of truck with the same size wheels. Like, you know, none of them have horns. None of them are sharks. None of them, none of them have suspension. Their wheels aren't very big. None of them have like weird simulated suspension like this, which is so great. Um, this is fun. This is like fun tech <laughs> technology. The Hot Wheels one feels like engineering ingenuity, whereas this one feels like like you know, you know, we we hired a car manufacturer. Um, not really, because cars wouldn't have suspension like that. I guess I'm just saying whatever pops into my head now, so I should probably let you go. It's been 
It's been a long video. It's been a long video. Um, amazing. Johnny Lightning. Uh, monster Trucks. There's three in the series. Um, also really like this. And uh, I think probably... I'm not going to say it's better than the Johnny Lightning. It's just different. Um, these three. They're great. Where are you going? Where are you going? Thank you. Um, thank you for watching.